Welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics, and quick challenge today. X root of 2 equal to 3, this looks like a weird challenge, because we not prefer to look at this x from this position, we prefer x right here as a power of 2, x right here, but what about this position, how can we solve this question from this position? This is a very tricky challenge, and a lot of students do that mistake, because they don't know how can we work with this x right here. And in this video, let's try to look at it, how can we solve this challenge? First of all, let's rewrite our challenge right here, so we have x root, x root of 2, equal to equal to 3. But before solving this left hand side, I want you to look for example at this, let's look for example at this uh, square root, not square, let's go with cubes root with, with 3 to the power 5, for example something like that. How can we write this expression? We can write this expression as 3 to the power, so this power of 3 goes to our numerator, so 5, and we divide all of these by the power of this root, so we have third, okay, so 3 to the power 5 over 3. Once more example, for example, we have mm, like 8's root of, of, for example, 5 to the power 9, something like that. We can write it also according to this logic. So we can write it as 5 to the power 9 over 8, okay? So we hope you understand this step. This is a common thing, this is general thing, so I hope you know the thing. So let's use this uh, the same rule in this case. So right here we have 1, so we can write this expression, so I want to separate this uh, solution, okay? So we can write this expression as 2 to the power 1 over x, okay? Pretty basic, equal to, equal to 3. Right now what we're going to do, we're going to apply natural log on both sides, or log or natural log, doesn't matter, for example, let's go with log, okay, so let's, let's look at it, so we have log of 2 to the power 1 over x equal to log, we have 3 on the right hand side, okay, pretty basic. 1 over x, this is our power of 2, it goes right here behind this log, because this is the main log property, and of course, and of course that's why we do this, we just want to bring this 1 over x right here, so we have 1 over x, times log 2 equal to log 3. Okay, or we, or we can rewrite it in another way, a pretty basic way, we multiply right here, okay? So we can write it as log 2 over x equal to equal to log equal to log 3, okay? Final step, let's find from here x, because this is our constant right here, this is our constant, so we can easily find our x, and x according to cross multiplying, let's write right here, so x equal to, so right here we have log 2 in our numerator and log 3 in our denominator, so we have log 2 over log 3, and this is our answer, pretty, pretty easy and pretty basic challenge, and of course I hope you understand this explanation, but for those who, who want approximately value, x approximately equal to 0 0.631, and this is for those who are interested in approximately value, this is for your exam, maybe you you handle with this challenge on your exam, and you want to, to write your answer correct according to this according to this solution. So we hope you understand this tricky challenge, I hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have more than 300 videos on my channel according to uh, math challenges, pre-basic, pretty um, interesting challenges, uh, basic math, pre-algebra concept, higher mathematics challenge, so I hope you will enjoy this video. So thank you for your time, have a great day, see you in the next videos!